Oh my god, what a weirdo. God. We're not racist. We love people. We love all colors, creeds, and kindreds. I had to pick up a black lady today. A black lady fell. I'm not kidding. I felt so bad. She was by herself. I promise you she was. Her name was Linda. Linda. The uh, precipitation and humidity of some of these right here in their coolers will zip line out. And not all alcohol when you turn around at Walmart, these fucking losers, is alcohol. It was almost like a peep, squeak, cry. And I said, William, what was that? Did you hear that? Well, I'll go look at Walmart because I'm not lying. I have no reason to lie about this because I care about the elderly now more than I actually care about kids. Kids are on the danger zone. Kids are on the radar to just be dumb. This little lady, her name was Linda. I know her last name because her card's over there. She goes on the radio, by the way. I mean, I just mess around with people who are nobodies. It could have been anywhere. I just happened to be there. In reality, a lady fell at Walmart and Tammy Lynn picked her up. Made an accident report through Wally World, and I'm the witness. I will fight for the elderly more now than I do kids. But this peep, squeak little thing like a girl, or we don't know which cooler actually is broke. Cause there's too much water. I'm trying to reach that motherfucking cereal, man. I did it anyway. I said, back out of the way, William. Go on, get out of my way. I said, Will, I'm not asking no associate to come over here to get Scotty's Captain Crunch. If I can do it, I'm going up. I took my left foot right now, which is the strongest because the, the, the right one's fucked up. And I said, get out of my way, Will. And I took my left foot for strength, like this endurance I have up here. Um, so Tammy's t-shirt come alive today. Let's get physical. And I did. The upper body strength I can lift my motherfucking self up and I didn't even know it. I did not know it until today. I mean, really lift yourself up like a dude does. I didn't know I could do it. Until today at Walmart's Captain Crunch Isle. So I said, move out the way, Well, I'm gonna use my left hand and get them. And then you're hanging on to them motherfucking thingies or whatever the fuck they are. And I'm, I'm going at least five up. I'm not lying, five motherfuckers up. and got Scott's Captain Crunch. But I didn't fall. No, I did not. But I did. I got to see this way and this way how fucking strong I really am. But today, good goddamn, I should have broke this motherfucking wrist. I really should have. It should be broke after carpal tunnel surgery. Lord, that was creepy though. Was it a little creepy? Yeah, because you're dangling. I wasn't asking William to push me up. Back off, Jack. I stand alone. And then while I was actually higher up, because your altitude is higher, just like if you live in New Hampshire, up there, I mean, damn, I was a giraffe. Dangling in midair like a dummy. <laughs> I was just way up high with the Captain Crunch ship. And I could hear better too. I could smell a little bit of the home senses. And that little lady. Beep, like a little rat. And I'm screaming, dangling like a fucking dummy. Did William help me down? No. Did I want him to? No. No. The path of destruction went up, middle, and I came down. If you don't believe me, pull the cameras at Walmart. We don't give a damn. Pull them. Pull them. <laughs> You'll see me dangling like a dummy. I was looking how it was designed the best I could. I said, oh, fucking Christ. If I try to go help this lady, I know somebody's hurt. That's all I can say. Somebody is hurt. I didn't know how. So while I was high up, I bent my stomach down where my abdominals rock without a waist trainer. Hardcore abs, baby, came into play today. Real abdominal work. To lay your belly flat and no you can push in and push out keeping that body going breathing in and out you can get your ab work right in your motherfucking bed 
and say, what can I do in the situation I'm stuck in? And I was stuck up top. And I heard this lady cry. And I knew if I went over to the other aisle, it really wouldn't make much difference how I come down. Because she was like almost two aisles over by the time we got done. Uh-huh. I'm thinking, Chip, just lay flat though, Tammy. And I did. <laughs> lay flat. And I blew out my abdominals to move up. I kept using the pulmonology in my chest. And shit. <laughs> you know, ah, breath, Chip. You can pass out doing that. What I done today, you can pass out. Like blowing up a balloon too hard. I done it. I done that too. Ready at all times for danger. It kind of came today at Walmart. And who helped the dangerous person? I was the one. Nobody else could do that shit around me. They couldn't do it. There was no associate who could do what I could do. They, they didn't know what to do. And I just laid there blowing my abdominals up. So I could keep lifting up and down like a push up, man. And I said, well, screw it. I've got to see what the hell is going on. I know when my hands are fucked. Know my body's fucked. And lifting my fucking hands up and up like a push up, man. I must have done 50. To see this little old lady. Doing like a dude, man. With push ups in the military. I stood like I knew I would with this bod. And I thought, well, damn, Tanny, you got to move a little quicker because ain't nobody in this store helping her, honey buns. But I tried to see if she was overtopping me the best that I could. You think I gave a rat shit about anything falling down? No. If I would went further with what I was doing, I would have crashed the bitchery Captain Crunch down. The other side, it would have crashed down and there might have been another human being over there in danger. So the danger zone, me, went back. I got back the fuck down. Dudes, I went running in another direction, knowing where water might be. I could tell. I could hear aqua running, baby, with this autoology. Dear Trenny, her, I heard water. I'm like, oh, shoot, ma'am. I was really trying to have enough time to tap into where the water was coming from. I could hear the water. I mean, this shit went down in less, I ain't even kidding, less than like 10 minutes. All this story that might take 20 years to discuss, but it's still true. That little lady was garbage. And I got over there and I'm like, oh my God, what I done, I knew in my mind, instantly, you're going in the wrong direction, Tammy. That's toward the coolers, bitch. <laughs> That's all I could think. Wrong direction. So I flip back toward the Captain Crunch, y'all. Take off, shit. I'm sliding like a skateboard, man. <laughs> and all I can do is look down and see an earthly human being laying down. They were moving their arms and shit. They were hurt. They hurt themselves, and right now they are admitted to the hospital. Walmart had nothing to do with dial 911 to help that lady. I did. You know what that lady was like? A homeless person to me. The lady was by herself. If nobody's there for you and with you, you're naturally in that present moment homeless. This lady has family. I'm not saying that. But at the moment of Walmart falling on that fuckery aisle with that shitty ass cooler shit, We'll figure out which one it was. She was technically homeless. There was nobody there for her. Did her family show up? No. AMR call? Miss, I wish I was a trailer park whore. Miss, I wonder if her foot's fractured from hell. No, I know it's broke. It ain't gonna be fractured. I know it's broke. She's a brave lady, but she was in shock. She was in shock. If I cared about my motherfucking self, I never would have helped this lady. I said, fuck that shit, I'm in pain. I'm this, William, I'm that. I knew how to get her up. And I was weak as fuck after lifting myself up. I still got the lady up to set her up. But you don't move somebody if, if they're injured. You wait. Do you know how to look at a body and see if it's hurt and not touch it? If you move something and somebody's hurt, you could, you could injure them more. I don't lie. I don't tell anybody a lying medical term. If I turn out to be incorrect about it, I will. But I'm not going to lie about my medical. That's a bunch of shit. We know what's written. For my fucked up bones, don't forget my brain's on orthopedic in your damn bones. I'm a powerhouse fucking survivor. Little lady. But we got her through it. 
We gotta throw it. I'll be calling that for sure in the morning on but where's William again? You heard William Law say I gotta take care of some business. And he does. On the behest of me and Mrs. Linda. Oh, we're yeah, out of there. I'm out of here. Out. He's going house. to his mommy on us. Yeah. I'm just glad I was there. I'm glad my son was out of fucking motherfucking Captain Crunch. That we were out of gallon moo moo juice. I'm so glad. If not, who the hell would have helped this lady? I wonder. That's all I can say. So, if you like to pray, if you don't like to pray, if you like to care, if you don't like to care, uh, I promised that I would ask if I went live, my silly little ass channel, for prayer for an individual in her latter 70s, whose name is Linda, who fell and could have been severely hurt. And they'll probably airlift her because you know why? She's not even from this state. That's why her family wasn't here. She's not from Mississippi. So I'll find out. Because she put my name down and stuff, little lady thingy. So take care and your little brain to care about a little lady named Linda, if you care. Little lady.